Hello and welcome back to my office for summer edition of the video blog. It is now officially summer. I've turned in my grades. School year is over. I'm really tired because it was a very, very long and exhausting year. So I figured, hey, why not give out a couple of, I don't know, tips, I guess. Not that I'm an expert, but just some things that, I, two things that I really found that were really helpful. The first thing is to find some balance in what you're doing. If you only do band director, I'm band director, I will only do this, you might as well just forget it because you can go crazy. You have to figure out some other way to have some balance in what you're, what you're doing, whether it be you know, art or sports. For me, it was sports. Uh, you know, anything like that. Uh, I'm now completely blanking on any other options because those are the ones I like. <laughs> so find something else that you can do. Uh, video games, you know, if you play video games, um, you get involved with the community, volunteer, things like that. Things that can be personally rewarding that don't require so much give for it to, to work. Um, for me, I play a lot of golf. I played soccer in one of the leagues here, played video games. Um, you know, let's be honest, preparing to play video games doesn't take quite as much work as st score study. Well, I hope not, anyway. For me, it doesn't. <laughs> For me, it doesn't. So have some kind of balance that will... So you're not doing all music all the time. There has to be some kind of balance. And if you talk to anyone who's a top-level performer, you talk to any golf professional, they talk about having balance. So they're not just playing golf all the time or not practicing all the time. Music professional. Um, even you know some of the greatest players I know, they play trumpet, and then they also go for bike rides or hikes or play golf. Or you know, Take, for example, one of my greatest mentors and examples for my life is Gary Green at University of Miami in Florida, and he's the director of bands there he's absolutely just a master at what he does but he you know, on the weekends he plays golf and he's got you know grandkids and family and he always spends time with family and kids obviously so find that balance is really helpful the second thing is find a mentor someone who you can ask these questions to for the first part of the year, I remember I just Chris Erickson has been awesome, and I just go to his office. I might as well have just lived there. So you just have someone you can relate to and someone to talk to, ask questions you feel comfortable with, and I think it's really important because not only you're asking questions, but when you're feeling overwhelmed, you can explain it. And you know, there are times where I said, "Oh, I gotta go and do this clinic, and I gotta travel," and he said, "Oh, well, I'll just take over this class for you, no problem." I'll I'll do it for an hour or something. And it's, that's a very small thing, but it makes a huge difference in terms of the comfort level of what you're doing and your sa level of sanity, honestly. It's it's very important having someone that you can talk to um, and at the college, too, because you, inevitably you come up with questions and say, I, I just don't know how to do this. And it's important to go have someone to talk to. It's really important. So, balance and find a mentor. That would be my advice. I, don't know. Uh, I just love my job here. Somebody said, oh, it's so amazing that I see someone so, that they love their work. Well, how could I not? It's just awesome. So, thanks for watching. I don't even know if this is the last one. This sounds like a big wrap-up one, but it is for me. I mean, it is summer. I think next time I'll probably just talk to you about my golf game because that's the only thing that'll happen between now and then. Uh, summer plans. I am teaching at the Blue Lake Fine Arts Camp in Michigan. I'll put the link in down in the description below. It's fantastic. We get hundreds and hundreds of kids. I think last last time we had there's four sessions and I saw 70 trumpet players a session. It's pretty good. So uh, you know I hope y'all have a good summer and uh, I hope that I have a good summer and. Get some rest, I guess. So I'll talk to you maybe next in two weeks on a Monday. And if not, oh well. <laughs> talk to you later. And I'll see you soon.